Initially, um, when I came here, I, I'd never looked at Columbus from the point of view of really doing something out in the city. So I roamed around the city and, and uh, looked at different sites and proposed different kind of ideas in my mind of, of things I could do. But I heard uh, someone say that Scioto uh, River meant hair of the deer. But that kind of piqued an interest in, and I started thinking about deer. and I, it was supposed to be a, a kind of in this area where people lounged around and walked around and took it easy. I just started thinking about deers instead of people doing the same thing, just kind of lounging around. And that's really where the idea came from. When I do have a project, that's the first thing I do is start drawing and making notes and just kind of thinking, getting it out of my head onto a sheet of paper. did the drawings and had ideas of what they, they were, might look like. Uh, I got m forms from a taxidermist uh, in Louisiana of, and they're actual styrofoam forms that uh, taxidermy guys use to put them, you know, after they skin the deer, they put it back on. And I used that as an armature. And so we set up, sawed up these pieces and built them and kind of constructed them into uh, the forms that we you see out there now. I think people instantly have a, an image in their head of, of whatever deer they see as a sculpture in their mind. And these are really, you kind of have to be there. You have to go look because they've been humanized in a sense that they still look like deer, but they're also human. And as far as a lot of their joints, you would never see joints like that on a, you know, on a real deer. But I did that to kind of, I think, make them accessible. I think that's what's so seductive to me about it is, is that it becomes really something that people want to, want to, want to be with and want to you know, actually touch. And I love it when somebody responds in a way I never anticipated or says something you never anticipated and makes you think about it in a way you never thought, you know. But I think that that's what happens with public word and that's why I think they're so important uh, because it really is something that's, even though it's public, it's so personal to each viewer, each person that looks at it. I think it's resistance people will have to, to public works is usually because they encounter it and they're used to passing the habit of passing the place day after day after day and then suddenly there's something different there, you know. And almost immediately, for some weird reason, different means wrong, it's bad, <laughs> you know. It's blocking something, it's doing something, whatever. And, uh, but I think over time people get comfortable 